what is up everybody this video is going to be a one round super flex rookie mock draft just me so i'm going to take you through the 1.1 to the 112 um how i see things and how i look at it but before we get into that video guys just do me a favor there hit that like hit that subscribe if you do play dynasty fantasy football but let's get right into the video at the 1.1 super flex drafts we're going with Bijan in any format it's going to be Bijan. if you don't need Bijan, you can always trade out of it but the 101 in all formats, pretty easy. Not much to say there. Generational running back. He's going to be the 1-1 one, one first running back coming off boards. At the 1-2 and the 1-3, you can kind of go any way that you want. You can go C.J. Stroud. You can go Bryce Young. Um, either or depends who you like better. But these two are going to be the next coming off the board. The 1-2 and the 1-3 are going to be these two quarterbacks for me here. You could argue C.J. Stroud might be the safer quarterback because of the height and just the body that he has compared to Bryce Young, who's a smaller guy, doesn't weigh as much, can possibly get injured just because of his size. Bryce Young, you could argue, well, could have the better ceiling, you know, out of the two. The way you slice it, they're the one, two, and the one, three there. At the one, four, kind of a tricky spot. I'm... Like, for me, I'm going with Jackson Smith and Jigba. And you could argue, yes, you have to put the QBs there. You've got to put Anthony Richardson. You've got to put Will Levis. And I think because those guys are not sure things, nobody's, of course, a sure thing. But at least for CJ Stroud and Bryce Young, I feel a lot more confident in those guys where Anthony Richardson and Will Levis are more of projects that, you know, have to be worked on. And absolutely, if those guys hit, they have a ton of value, um, and you can use those guys to trade, of course, or if you need them as actual QBs. And we always are trying to take that best player available. So, you know, you could definitely argue with the value of Richardson or Levis that you can definitely put them there. But I got to go with JSN here. I got to go with JSN here. Following up after that, we can go with Anthony Richardson. Anthony Richardson at the 1-5 there. The one six, we got to go with Will Levis here. Going to get the top 10, top 15 draft capital at worst. But with the value of QBs in the super flex, you've got to go with Will Levis here. This one six range. One seven, we follow that up with Jameer Gibbs. Second RB coming off the board. The next, you know, Alvin Kamara, Austin Eckler. Type running back where catching a lot more passes can do a lot of different things, especially in the past game. After Jameer Gibbs comes off the board at the 1-7, we get to the 1-8. And the 1-8 here, I'm going to have Quentin Johnson. I got to have, you know, the upside that Quentin Johnson has obviously outweighs almost every, pretty much every receiver in this draft class. You can argue JSN, but him and Addison, very close. I just feel that Johnson just has the higher upside. And so I've got to put him there at the 1.8. Should definitely be a first-round wide receiver off the board. May even be the first wide receiver off the board. I don't know. We'll see, obviously, what happens there. But at the 1.9, then we've got Jordan Addison coming off the board right after that. I feel like he's a pretty safe wide receiver route running. I'm not sure if he'll ever be a wide receiver one in fantasy, but he can, without a doubt, of course, be a wide receiver two. That's kind of how I'm looking at him there. So I've got him after Quentin Johnston there at the 1-8. So we've got him at the 1-9. With the 1-10 now, we're going with Zach Charbonnet. So Zach Charbonnet here at the 110. Of course, we don't know where these guys are going, but Zach Charbonnet is a guy that can possibly get a work lo workhorse load somewhere because he can run, he can catch, he can kind of do it all, bruising, kind of running back, doesn't have tremendous speed at all, but just a running back that you can hand the ball off to and really count on. And the NFL is going to like the size and speed that Charbonnet comes with. And, of course, his production in college. At the 111, we got Zay Flowers coming off at the 111. Possible round one draft capital, if not early round two, most likely. If he can find himself on a good team, you know, like Minnesota Vikings or somebody of that nature, the Chargers, the Chiefs. Um, if he can get in that late first round or maybe early second round draft capital, I like him here at the end of the first round. And then at the 112, I've got the first tight end off the board, Michael Mayer. I mean, we've been waiting for Michael Mayer to come out. Obviously, we want to see 
what team that he winds up going to. But, you know, the guy, definitely the best tight end in the class. You could argue Kincaid um, as well, but we'll go with Michael Mayer. I think he's the first tight end that comes off the board in the first round. And tight end premium, you could argue he can go a few spots higher, but this is kind of, you know, a cutoff point where I've got Mayer coming in there. I've got Downs right after, so Downs would be the 201. But anyway, guys, this is the first round of a rookie mock draft, an updated first-round rookie mock draft, how I see it. So let me know what you guys think down there in the comments. Did Do you agree with how I have the first round pretty much shaken up? Do you disagree? Do you have these QBs higher? Are you waiting on JSN? Are you putting Gibbs over any of these other QBs here? So let me know what you guys think down there in the comments. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Guys, do me a favor there. Hit that like, hit that subscribe if you do play Dynasty Fantasy Football. I've got round one of a one QB draft. That video will be coming out next. And then I'll have videos coming out for the 101 to the 106, what we can do with those picks if you have them, and what you can do with picks 107 to 112 as well, both Superflex and 1QB. So stay tuned for those video guys. Again, appreciate y'all.